Welcome, welcome, one and all, to another edition of Swiss's Commuting Chaos. And if you're new to the channel or haven't yet subscribed, hit the pause button and subscribe. Ah, so Steve, you can hear the police car coming, and he's coming at pace. I mean, truth. Uh, yes, Carl. Uh, there's no way he's going to stop in time for the uh, pedestrian crossing or the junction coming in from the right-hand side. He can't see through the bus. To me, that would appear to be totally inappropriate speed. Approaching a bend in the road. Ah, oh, Steve, it sounds like there's another one coming. At least that one uh, slowed down and took it at a reasonable pace. There must be uh, quite some emergency they're going to there, mate. Ah, oh, Carl, oh, I reckon that must have been a really, really bad posting on social media that they've got to go and arrest someone for. Oh, I can't think of any other reason why they'd be travelling at that sort of speed as an emergency. So, Swiss is driving down the road. From the traffic lights he's approaching have already changed. So this moppet coming in from the right hand side on a cycle must have gone through a red light. Why do people do that? Putting themselves in such danger. This guy has got the brains of a dry roasted, not salted, but dry roasted peanut. So Steve, I've often wondered, what collective noun do you think would be uh, given to a whole load of idiots on line bikes? Ah, oh, well, Carl. I'd call them a f**kwit of line bikers, but, you know, I don't think that's uh, necessarily the right way to go. I don't know, what's the, uh, what's the collective name for a whole load of lemmings? Ah, well, Steve-O, I've looked that one up, and it turns out it's a plague of, uh, plague of lemmings. Yeah, plague of line bikers sounds about right, mate. Ho ho, Tony, do you reckon it's another one of Swiss's tango test sensations? I don't know, Ralph. I mean, he's driving down the road, he's catching up a BMW SUV, so quite likely. Ah, well, Swiss has very kindly stopped the video footage for us so we can clearly see it's marked above the road. And apparently also on the road as well. So how could this guy possibly be getting this one wrong? Well, Ralph, he is driving a BMW SUV, so it's highly probable, isn't it? He had two lanes on the outside of him, both of which he could have turned right from, but he has to do it from that one. What a cunt. I say, that looks like my mate Charlie up ahead in the red Mazda pulling out the side turning. Charlie said he bought the Mazda because it has fantastic sideward vision. It also has really smart pickup as you pull out junctions and such a sharp turning circle. Says he can pull out really quickly and get out of the way so he doesn't disturb any of the traffic. Turns out Charlie's a bit of a knob. Me, the 13th Duke of Wyborn, on a sports bike approaching a red traffic light with my reputation. Oh well, guess somebody's got to run that red light, perform an illegal U-turn and then filter into traffic. So I was out cycling. I <laughs> had a bit of a skinful, so I didn't think I should drive. But uh, anyway, um, I was possibly in the wrong lane um, approaching the traffic lines, but um, I know they were red, but ooh, I thought I'd go through it anyway. And ooh, ooh, traffic coming at me from the left and right. I ooh, shut my pants. Ooh. This week, I have been mostly performing illegal wedding ceremonies on Westminster Bridge. Oh. Ah! Now it's time for Celebrity Corner. Hey, yeah, uh, Steve, it looks like that's a mini driver. Uh, I think she's uh, quite a bit taller than that, mate. I say, ding dong, we appear to be back in Vauxhall. It's Swiss's favourite set of lights. There's always something happening here. Well, that's a cheeky little 20 minute that can't manage to stop at the right place. See, it's no longer green for the pedestrians. It'll be going red any minute. Oh, wait for it. Here she comes. Well, she looks like she's a couple of sandwiches short of a picnic. Yes, thought so. Well done, darling. 
If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button and stay safe out there because it's a bloody mad world.